the third question from the WhatsApp. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dr. Zakir Naik, I am I.A. Abdullah, 11 years old. I am in 6th standard from central province Matale, Sri Lanka. My question is, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, peace be upon him, was born without a father. What is the reason for that? The question posed is, that why was Isa alayhi salam, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was born without a father? If we analyze Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has his own rules. And you see that the full universe, it is functioning as per the rules and regulation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The rotation of the planets, the sun, the moon, everything. And as far as the birth of the human being is concerned, we know very well that normally the birth of the human being takes place because of one male and one female. From one male and one female, the parents we call. And Allah says in the Quran, Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaq naakum min zakrin wa unsa wa jan naakum shawm ba wa qaba ila li ta'arifu inna karmpu inda Allah yatkakum inna Allah alim khabir O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise one another and the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa, who has God consciousness, who has God consciousness, who has piety, who has righteousness. So here the Quran is very clear cut in Surah Hujurah chapter 49 verse number 13 that oh humankind we have created you from a single pair of male and female. So this is the normal way how human beings are born from a male and female. Allah repeats this message several places including in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 1 that oh humankind reverence your guardian lord who has created a male a single male and from it like nature his mate his spouse talking about adam peace be upon him and then maybe hawa eve peace be upon him. and from them twain has scattered many seeds men and women that from them adam and eve male and female scattered many seeds men and women so the normal procedure of, give, of human beings being born is from male and female. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the normal procedure. Allah shows miracles. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam who had no mother and no father. That was a miracle. It was a sign for humanity. Then Allah created Hawa. Eve, may Allah be with her, from Adam peace be upon him. From a male, but no female. So this is the third type of creation. The normal creation we know is from male and female are required for the birth of a human being. Allah showed a miracle, a sign by creating Adam alayhi salam without a father and mother. Eve, may Allah be with her, from a male, but without female. The only fourth type of creation creating from a female and not from a male, having a mother and not a father was pending. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ peace be upon him, from a mother without a father. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maryam chapter number 19, verse number 21, that we have created Isa ibn Maryam as a sign for humanity. And we know that Isa alayhi salam was born miraculously without any main intervention. It's further mentioned in Surah Amba chapter number 21 verse number 91. As well as Surah Mu'minun chapter number 23 verse number 50. That Isa ibn Maryam and his mother, Jesus Christ peace be upon him, and Mary may Allah be peace with her, both of them Allah created as a sign for humanity. So Isa alayhi salam, the reason Allah created Isa alayhi salam, was as a miracle to show humanity it was a sign for the human beings that the fourth type which was pending the general is mother and father we have one example of Adam alayhi salam no mother no father we have an example of Bibi Hawa Eve may Allah be pleased with her from a male without a female so the only one pending was 
from a female without a male, having a mother and no father, and it was a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for humanity as the Quran says. Hope that answers the question.